find the 500th term of the sequence. Now let's look at the sequence and see if we can find a pattern. I'm going to think it's adding 7. Negative 4 plus 7 is 3. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. So we're adding 7 each time, which means it's arithmetic. So we're going to use the arithmetic formula. a sub n equals a sub 1, which is the first term, plus n minus 1 times d, which is the common difference. So let's substitute what we know. a sub n equals a sub 1, that's the first term, which is negative 4, and then plus n minus 1 times d, the common difference, which is 7. That's what we're adding each time. So a sub n equals negative 4, and then I'll distribute this 7. So it's going to be plus 7n and then minus 7. So in final form, a sub n equals 7n minus 11. Okay, so now that we have the rule for the sequence, we're going to find the 500th term by substituting a 500. So a 500, meaning the output for 500, equals 7 times 500 minus 11. So a 500 equals 7 times 500 is 3,500, then minus 11. So a 500 is 3489. There's the 500th term of the sequence.